Hello, this is a video that I've been waiting for for a long time at this point, probably almost a month, maybe even longer than that, who knows. But I've spent a long time here just letting these packs marinate in the inventory for a long time. And it's finally the day that I'm going to open them all. This, this could legitimately take me over an hour to open all these. And if I'm being honest, I don't even have all of the packs that I had planned on getting. But there are, there are two reasons why I'm opening all of these packs right now. And reason the first is that I, I need to make a World Series push because the season ends in like two days. And I want the stubs to get my bullpen better. And I need Rivera back. I need the good Chapman. And I need Rob Dibble. Reason the second is because with the Stage 3 Affinity drops it almost makes 32 ball and as a habit packs feel like nothing anymore like when i was planning this pack opening i was thinking my god 30 ball is that could you imagine if i open that met and now i have it here but now every single affinity gives you six more ball and as a habit packs if you finish the entire stage three so the plan is i'm gonna open all these now and then Hopefully, I'm going to do another huge pack opening in maybe a couple weeks where I have... Dude, who even knows? It could be like 150 ball and as a habit packs by that point. But let's let's just see what I've got here at this point. We've got 104 the show packs. We've got 32 ball and packs. I've got 38 of these silver player packs. These... I, the only reason I saved them for this was because, could you imagine if I pull a diamond out of one of these? One in 399 odds, I'd want to get that on recording. Five Twitch drop packs, one gold player pack, I don't even, that's probably from the event actually. 201 team affinity packs. This is, this is potentially the main event here. 200? We all know that these packs are juice, like they have the same odds as the show packs, but everyone knows that these packs are more juice than the show packs. And then I've just got a ton of different set headliner packs here, and I will admit, not all these are free. Half of them about are, were free, but then with the discounts in the show shop, I, uh, I bought those, those bundles where you get two for the price of one. So I got a bunch of those. And then there was also that flash sale with the ducks on the pond pack that has the elite round for 20,000 stubs and I went ahead and bought it so that's probably gonna end up being a mistake so like I said this is gonna take me probably like an hour to open all these so I'm just gonna start ripping into these silvers here I am 100% not going to try to be talking and rambling the whole time that these packs are being opened so this this is good to be a different experience for me because this is this is gonna be this is gonna be tricky to edit <laughs> but hopefully we pull a bunch of diamonds I think based on the odds I should be pulling plenty of diamonds probably probably like 10 I probably should have figured that out actually so we got one in 50 odds here so that's like two we got two more because of those I think we got four more because of that so that's what that's eight guaranteed well not guaranteed but based on the odds should be guaranteed and then through all of these that's probably like two more and then the ducks on a pond guy so i don't i would say i'll guarantee i'll guarantee 10 diamonds today and hopefully they're gonna be good diamonds but i'm gonna i'm gonna shut up and we're gonna just rack it through these and see what we get Oh, I didn't even realize, but I got a gold. Okay, I think that's only like a 1 in 50 chance of uh, pulling a gold out of one of these. Yeah, 1 in 50, so that's kind of rare. Another gold, okay. We're, we're getting, I mean, if the odds are in our favor like this already, this could be good. This is a good sign. All right, we're on our last couple silver player packs here. Doubt I'm going to pull a diamond in the last one. But man, even with what I pulled out of these all silvers and two golds, it's, it's probably already, I've probably already made like 10 to 15,000 subs, if not more. This is going to be an insane, this is insane. This is just insane. A gold player pack here. We don't, we don't defy the odds out of this one. Just a gold player. I'll open these. We'll do the Twitch drop packs next. You know, I guess I should explain just in case you don't know. 
the Twitch drop packs, you get, oh, there's a gold, but uh, you get those if you watch the San Diego Studios live streams, if they have those and you have your accounts linked or whatever, but we didn't get anything out of those. They were, I forgot to show the odds, but they were equivalent to the show packs and affinity packs. And I'll be honest, I don't feel quite ready yet to rip into one of these massive stacks here. So I'm going to open the headliners packs first here. So we're going to go through all of these. I think I have 17. I want to say it was, I think I already had seven. And then when I bought them with that, with that deal, I think that was 10 more. So I think I have 17. So let's just go through all of these right now. Jeff Bagwell is the first headliner. I would hope if I pull a diamond, it's not him and it's going to be a gold. Okay. At least it's better than a silver. Set three, we got Gagne. I had him for a little bit when he first came out. Oh, and we got one. Okay, okay. I was going to say I had him for a little bit when he first came out. I wasn't a huge fan, but let's see who this is. If it is Gagne, who knows? I might give him another try. It's not, though. It's a National League first baseman. Is that Pete Alonzo? Okay. All right, not the... Not the... Uh, yeah, okay, Pete Alonzo. Not the most electric diamond pull that i'm hopefully gonna get but it's at least a start he's gonna go for right around the minimum all right we got set five next is gonna be ty cobb i feel like i haven't seen him too much i really liked ty cobb's card last year but i never used this one i wouldn't use him now we got another gold okay at least so far there hasn't been a silver pulled i forgot to see who the set nine headliner was another gold Man, did they did they change the odds? No, they didn't. I'm just getting lucky. Okay, set 13. Luis Patino. Okay, we got a future star possibility here. And, ooh, our first silver. Okay, okay, we're cooling off. <laughs> Gold Glove Ozzy Smith is the headliner of set 14. And nothing again. Okay, set 15. Cy Young. I think I've pulled him before this year. I didn't use him, though. But we got another gold and set 16 i forgot to see who it was nobody so we got two set 20s and that's actually pretty good because it's matt kemp now his price has gone down so much he's down to like 25k ish but look at that look at how much it's gone down in recent times just like not even a week ago he was still going for what does that say right around like 66,000. and he used to go for a consistent hundred thousand and then i think all these different shop deals came out now he's now he's really cheap in comparison and we got another diamond that's diamond number two you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna try and keep count of the well obviously i'm gonna keep count of how many diamonds i've got but that's number two so we're already setting a good pace here let's see who this one is we got another national league left-handed starting pitchers that's that's gotta be kershaw right yeah live series i don't think there's any other option other than clayton kershaw so another not best diamond i could pull but it's a diamond nonetheless that's our second one so far all right set 20 here oh yeah right i had two of those so it's another matt kemp opportunity and no diamond that time we got set 23 we got cy young brett saberhagen and not a diamond but a gold the second time i've pulled chris bryan out of one of these set 25 matt weeders that's a really good card um and it is not in this pack okay <laughs> i would like to pull well i don't know i was gonna say i'd like to pull one headliner but for the most part headliners aren't going for all that much nowadays sandoval i mean they would be better than kershaw or pete alonzo but two golds in this one we got chad green andrew miller and it was rendering in andrew miller it took forever 228 it's two set 28 packs. We got Michael Brantley. He's only going for 10K, but that'd be double what Kershaw and Alonzo are going for. No luck in the first one here. We got one more set 28 and no luck out of that one. All right, two more chances here at headliner packs. And I think they're both 99 overall. No, we got Carew at a 98. So let's see. Let's see. And no diamond in that one. So one last chance out of these headliner packs. And it is not going to give us a diamond but another gold a lot of golds pulled out of these and two diamonds so right around the odds that i would be given of pulling diamonds out of those packs and now 
Now all we've got left is our big stacks and then the ducks on a pond pack, which I think I'm going to save for the end. All right, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and start in on this stack of 104. This is going to this is going to take so long and then I have double that for these. All right, the show packs. Let's see this first one. Are we going to get anything good to start? No. The worst possible <laughs> final guy. Okay, this is starting off with a bang. Okay, just 3 packs in, we're getting a gold. I mean, obviously golds aren't super exciting, but it's still a thousand stubs at the minimum. And honestly, as I'm opening these packs, like obviously diamonds are amazing to get. But even without pulling, like if I went this whole pack opening without pulling a single diamond, do you still realize how many stubs I would make if I went through my inventory and sold everyone that I pull? Like this is still going to be an insane amount of stubs being made. Even if, even if I don't pull another diamond the rest of this. But I don't want to put that energy out there. We're going to be pulling more diamonds. Oh, there it is. Okay. About 15 packs in. And we got our first diamond out of the show packs. That's three total diamonds so far out of this pack opening. Let's hope this one's a little bit better. And it's an American League starting pitcher. So if it's a live series, we have the chance at Garrett Cole. And it's not as Charlie Morton. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this whole pack opening, only pulling 85 overall diamonds that go for 5k. All right, 80 packs to go. I think I'm gonna check in about every 20 packs. So we've only pulled that one diamond so far. A lot of silvers, though, to be honest. I feel like I gotta slow down my scrolling because I don't want to like miss anything or auto flip a Mike Trout like a lot of people seem to do. All right, another 20 packs in the books. I pulled two more gold since the last time, but nothing too crazy. And I've been on a little bit of a streak of only getting bronze, guys. It continues. All right, man, after this pack, it's going to be another 20 in the books, and I haven't even pulled a gold. So, you know what? We're going to have we're going to we're going to we're going to we're going to let these packs cool off a little bit. We're going to go into the into the uh, marketplace here. Let's manifest some of these high diamonds here. Mike Trout, 196,000. He's going for a lot less than he used to. He's really taking a drop off. Of course, all these high diamond guys took a huge hit to their prices, like not even a week after I finished getting Mickey Mantle, but they'd still be really nice to pull. So let's, you know, let's put the thoughts out there and let's pull one. All right, well, the manifestation tactic did not work <laughs> that was another 20 packs of barely pulling i pulled two golds though but we're we're down to our final 20 show packs here and these are not looking good well we got another gold but there's only five packs remaining and man i'll be honest i had a little bit higher expectations out of these i know the show packs you know they're not supposed to be crazy good but one diamond and 104 of them especially when i pulled the one diamond pretty early on i was like oh man we might be getting a couple out of these but no nope only the one diamond not even a good diamond out of 104 show packs you know the the only thing that means is that it is saving our luck for these remaining packs especially this last pack here if we can if we can get that elite round that that's going to make it all worth it but we're going to go into these affinity packs here like i said at the beginning we all know that these are more juiced than normal show packs even if it says it has the same odds well i mean it's a diamond but it's not uh you know the diamond we want to see all right well we got three golds in the first 20 I don't know maybe maybe that's a sign of some heat to come we also did pull the diamond sponsorship so maybe these packs are you know they're just letting us know hey we're gonna start you in slow you know we've got 180 left there's plenty of time here man this might already be like the most packs i've opened at one time and in terms of total packs i don't even know if i'm halfway through yet we still got 160 of these left and 32 ball in packs but unfortunately, no heat out of these affinity packs. I was really expecting more. Like I said, these are always more juiced, it seems like. Can you believe this? At this point, I've gone through like 150 maybe 
packs with normal odds like this 150 in a row without pulling a diamond well a diamond player diamond sponsorship i don't count that you know this is exactly why i usually don't ever <laughs> go on the on the shop and buy the packs this is why i only usually open free packs i only bought packs this time because i had so many free packs i'm like you know what i'll make my stubs back and i still will i still will i'll make the stubs back on the packs or from all the packs on the packs that i bought but have you ever seen someone this unlucky I, i'm well there's a gold wow but i'm almost halfway through these affinity packs no diamonds from these and not to mention that i had just gone about a hundred show packs in a row without any okay well i guess all you gotta do is complain and then there's gonna be a diamond that shows up so let's see what we got and it's national league shortstop Baez. another minimum stub <laughs> diamond it made me wait almost 200 packs just to give me another diamond that is going for like nothing all right halfway done 100 packs to go maybe these will be different we can always keep our hopes high even if we have no reason to all right well a diamond equipment this could always be decent depending on what it is but i feel like equipment prices have gone down it's a catcher's mask for just over a thousand stubs. All right. Okay. Okay. Another diamond player. Things might be heating up a bit. All right. I said, I said, stay positive. Even though it doesn't really give us a reason to, but that's, that's enough. That's a couple of diamonds in relatively quick succession here. We got a signature. Oh, does that mean it's, um, Rod Carew? Uh, yeah, Rod Carew, alright. That's probably the highest overall card I've pulled this year. Well, easily. I I, I honestly doubt he's going for too much. Alright, 16k. That's not bad. So, if that's a sell now, then if I put up a sell order, it'll probably be, what, like 18? That's not horrible. You know, I'll that, that's, a, that's a good pull. I'll take that. Okay, another diamond equipment here. And it's a sleeve. Okay, that's probably one of the better ones. That's that's basically like pulling a diamond player there. Okay, that's actually better than all but one of our diamond player pulls so far. So that's another 20 packs down the drain, and they're definitely heating up. So maybe maybe we're gearing up for a massive finish here. Maybe that's all that it's been waiting for. Maybe the game knew. They're like, you know what? This kid's this kid's opening what like 400 packs here. Let's go ahead. Let's make the first couple hundred be like. Neh. But then we'll, we'll really give him something in the last hundred or so. Okay, another diamond player. We might be heating up here. We might. Let's see who this one is. American League, this is Lindor. I recognize that pose. And Lindor does not go for that much anymore. It's pretty much either, if it's a live series diamond, it's either a 90 overall or higher or bust. All right, another, another 40 or another 20 down the tubes, 40 left. The last 20 was pretty quiet, but you know, we, we've pulled a couple diamonds in these later 100 packs here out of these affinities, but we're still missing that big pull. Like we gotta get something big. And there, and who knows, this could be it. This could be that big pull that I literally just mentioned. And it's probably not. I mean, it, it, you know, there are, two options for righty live series starters you got degrom and scherzer in the national league and it's it's degrom okay okay there's <laughs> there it is there's the big pull that i just said he doesn't go for nearly as much as he did just like a week ago but that's still gonna be over eighty thousand stubs that i'm gonna get when i sell him i'm not gonna do the sell now all right so this this makes me feel a lot better about this pack opening now i was feeling real iffy but we finally got something that goes for a lot here and we still have plenty of packs to go and that's plenty of opportunity to pull some more heat all right last one last one are we gonna sneak a diamond no we're gonna end on three commons and a bronze 
and a good old silver nameplate being the most expensive thing in the pack. All right, but this is what it all comes down to. Like, yeah, sure, we opened a ton of packs already, but this is like, this is it. We've got 32 ball and as a habit packs. Every single one of them guarantee at least a gold, meaning the bare, I didn't mean to back out there, but the bare minimum amount of stubs that I'm gonna make off of these packs is 32,000, which in itself is a big number, but there is, there is a pretty solid chance of pulling a diamond and we're gonna we're really gonna try and rely on that all right so here goes nothing let's start let's go the first pack here maybe we'll get something good double gold double gold to start could have been worse you know i can feel it this is the one this is the one five packs in the sixth one nope another double gold okay you know what i'll i'll definitely take double gold over just normal single golds but man let's pull a diamond there it is. All right, I was going to say I didn't I didn't wait so long getting all these ball and packs to not pull any diamonds out of them. And here's the first one. About 8 packs in, we got an American League starter this time. And uh the only one that's coming to mind is is Cole. And oh no, there's Verlander too. He goes for a solid amount. But it's going to be Charlie Morton. For a second time of the pack opening, we got Charlie Morton. All right, well, this one's going to be our 10th ball and pack, and it's another diamond. Okay, we're going at a pretty good pace here. One diamond in every five packs. Well, I mean, not exactly, but it evens out to that. And it's another pitcher, National League this time, another starter. I mean, I feel like they all look the same, so it looks like DeGrom last time. And this time it's going to be Strasburg, so not, not, uh, not the best national starter we can get. I already, I'm trying to remember now all the diamonds I've pulled in this, and I can't remember if I've hit 10 yet. I know I said at the beginning I'm guaranteeing 10, and I can't remember if I've hit 10 or if I'm at 9, because I can only remember 9 off the top of my head, but I can't remember if I've pulled 10. But we've gone through a couple packs here without getting uh, another diamond. Now, I mean, I guess technically based on the odds, we're not, we're not uh, in... The money, I guess, would be the right word. I don't know if that is, but to get another one, because it's only one in 15 chance of getting one. So in 30 packs, that's two diamonds. We've already pulled our two. So I don't know. I really hope these last 20 packs aren't just going to be straight golds like they've been so far. Okay, we got a diamond here. I was, I was just going to the last card here, but we have a diamond in the second to last spot. And so if it wasn't 10 already, then that's 100% the 10. I think this is Acuna. I think this is what Acuna's thing usually looks like, which again, used to be a lot better of a pull than it is now. But uh, if we hadn't already, that officially hits our 10th diamond player pull. And I guess he goes for slightly over the minimum. So it's not, you know, the worst. All right, man, five more of these ball and packs to go. And we got one more. We're not we're not done yet. We're still pulling diamonds. And is it Acuna again? Did we just go back to back on it? No, it's a shortstop this time. Okay, National League shortstop. That's not Baez. Why am I having trouble thinking who it is? Story, of course. Trevor Story. Is that the only other one? One final ball and pack and no more diamonds. Okay, so we pulled four diamonds out of 32 ball and is a habit packs which is which is a good amount i mean you're only you're only it says one out of 15 i think that averages to one in every eight packs so we almost like doubled the odds that we were given but this is the final pack here this is a pack that i did purchase during a flash sale it was only twenty thousand stubs and we have we have a chance here if we don't pull a rare round, it's a loss of stubs because these guys all, or these three, I'll go for, I think, around 15K. But if I can pull this elite round here, this is the guy I want. I'll roll this Chapman. I'm going to buy him anyway. So it'd just be, it'd be nice if I could just pull him without having to worry about spending stubs on him. So let's, let's just all cross our fingers. Think strong. I'll roll this Chapman thoughts. Here we go. It's the middle round, okay? It's not 
It's not as bad as it could have been, but it's still a loss, and it's not Chapman. But we're going to take Grinky. It looks like, well, I guess I should check for sure. 16, 13, 14. Okay, so yeah, Grinky is the one that's going for the most, and that does it, man. It was almost exactly an hour it took me to open all these packs. That was that was crazy. But there you have it. Just about, I don't know exactly what the number was, but it was right around 400 packs opened. And I think the number was 12 diamonds, 12 diamond players pulled. I could be missing a guy, but it could have gone a lot worse. We could have pulled less diamonds or all the diamonds I pulled could have been the minimum. We got DeGrom. That was a good pull, obviously. He's going to go for over 80,000 stubs. We got Rod Carew, which was kind of cool. Even though he doesn't go for a ton, that's still going to be about 18, I think I said. Maybe a little less. But the biggest thing is just the sheer volume of players I got out of this. Like, the diamond pulls alone, maybe 200k? I don't know for sure. I'm trying to just think in my head real quick, so maybe... Maybe somewhere from 150 to 200,000 stubs made from just the diamond poles themselves. But I don't know if I would be wrong in saying that if I sold everyone I pulled out of these packs, this could be close to, if not more, than 500,000 stubs. That could, be, that could be a massive overestimate. That could be, I don't know for sure, but I would say maybe, maybe somewhere between 400 and 500,000 stubs as a total. I still have a choice to make though. I don't know if I want to sell literally everybody or maybe do some exchanges to get a little bit easier progress towards affinities. But man, that was fun. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I've had those packs sitting in my inventory for quite some time. And we did have a pretty cold streak of about, man, it was, it was probably almost 200 packs without pulling a diamond. But all in all, it worked out pretty well. But with that being said, that's going to do it for me in this one. Make sure if you enjoyed, hit that like button for me and subscribe to see more MLB The Show videos. But I hope you all enjoyed this one because I know I did. And I'll see you in the next one.